In this video, I will show you how to update the MidX20. To change the firmware, you need a computer running the Windows operating system, a MIDI interface for the computer, and an internet connection to download the Assistant PC Program V2 from the Promovo website. I'm going to run through the steps I followed to update the firmware to support the BOSS GT1 and the BOSS uh, GP10, but the procedure is the same for other available configurations. I did this in February of 2019, but you will want to visit the website as Primova occasionally updates the software, adding new features and fixing bugs. So uh, first, let's visit the Promova site and go to the Downloads page for the MidX20. Download the MidX20 Assistant PC program as a zip file and install it on your computer. Next, hook the MIDI in and MIDI out from your interface to the respective MIDI out and MIDI in on the MIDX20. Power the MIDX20 up and then launch the software. The PC Assistant program will test to see if there's a MIDX20 connected and alert you if the unit is not found. Now you can run the program without the MIDX20 connected and for the purpose of creating settings files for later use or just exploring the software. There's a lot to explore in the program, but we're going to go straight to the firmware tab where the firmware is changed or updated. To put the MIDX20 in programming mode, power the unit down, then power it up again while holding down the set button on the rear of the unit. If successfully entering programming mode, all the LEDs will flash. Next, verify the MIDX20 communication by pressing the verify button in the PC software dialog. Now we're going to select the firmware we want to install from the list. And I'm selecting the BOSS GT1 and the BOSS GP10 combination. Now we press upgrade the MIDX20 button and wait for about 2 to 5 minutes. When completed, you're prompted to restart the MIDX20. So that's it. To test it out, I'm connecting a USB cable from the BOSS GP10 to the MIDX20. For guitar to MIDI, we'll use the recommended lower USB connection. The MIDI out from the MIDX20 is connected to the MIDI in on a Korg reissue Odyssey synth. And with my guitar plugged into the GP10, I'm able to play the Odyssey with a degree of tracking accuracy never seen before, say on the original ARP avatar. The avatar is basically the same setup, a guitar with a hex pickup connected to the sound engine of an ARP Odyssey. Wow. <laughs> 